Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, main engine start, one, ignition and liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying Gravity Pro B, testing for truth and the physics of our universe. After years of budget cuts and cancellations, Gravity Pro B is finally on its way into Earth's orbit. Its mission? To prove one of Einstein's most basic principles of physics. All right, team, so how do you finally feel to see Gravity Pro B finally launch? <sighs> it's a relief. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. Thank you. Amazing, extremely exciting. I'm glad we only have to do one of these. <laughs> can you give us a time period for when you can expect to be receiving some science results and exactly what you hope to achieve? The uh, spacecraft will be up there for about 16 to 18 months. The gyroscopes will be spinning the whole time and the Stanford group will be measuring the precession of those gyroscopes uh, throughout the mission and then it will take probably six months to a year after that to compile the data uh, before they ultimately have a result. Gravity probe will test one prediction of general relativity that is a decisive prediction of general relativity and that has never actually been tested and never been proven to be right. The main um, idea of gravity probe is to shoot a gyroscope into Earth's orbit, we want to measure the effects of the curvature and the warping of space-time. The prediction of general relativity is that the spin axis of these little balls is changing slightly, changing due to the curvature of space-time because of the mass, the massive body of the Earth. So, what if Gravity Probe B proves that Einstein was indeed wrong? I think the uh a proof that he is wrong would be more exciting than a proof that he is right. This will be the most precise measurement made, and if he is wrong, that opens up the door for a lot of other uh, theory to be proposed. It'll be um, extremely shocking as to a lot of people, but pretty exciting because then we're going to have to completely rethink how we imagine a whole world to be.